like, all right. So we'll just stand by for that. It was working all the time. I just thought I would, I would hear something at least. Nothing. Yeah. Okay. Okay.
afternoon. Once again, good afternoon. And welcome to this most holy spot of the space of prayer. We take the back room. We want to let you know that you are most welcome in this space. We are delighted to have you here as we prepare to celebrate this massive welcome for our new coadjutor, Oscar Cantu. We have a number of people that we acknowledge for traveling from near and from far away. I want to just simply name some of those people to acknowledge their presence. We welcome our nuncio, Archbishop Christophe Pierre, who is with us today, and the Cardinals, Cardinal Roger Mahoney and Cardinal William Lovada. In a special way, we also welcome the Kantu family, many of whom have traveled for many hours to get here today. We welcome all those visiting from the Diocese of Las Cruces, and of course, we welcome any of those who are tuning in via the live stream that is happening right now. So whether you are near or far away, please know that you are welcome in this space today. We hope that you received the worship aid as you came in, and we encourage you to make full use of that, especially for singing and participating in all the songs that we have. Because it's so crowded in here today, our choir is actually up in the choir loft, and so they will help to support our prayer, but you are the active assembly that we will rely on to help uh, embody that full voice prayer. So we really encourage you to use your voices to the best of your ability as we sing and pray together. If you need to use a bathroom during the celebration, you can simply go across the way to Loyola Hall through those doors over there. Make sure that, that you keep your ticket so you can get back in. At this time, please take a moment to silence your cell phones or any noise-making devices that you might have with you right now. And now, please stand and join in singing our gathering song, Laudate Dominum. Oh, this 
You'll be 
would ask that you please be seated for just a moment. I was told not to smile too much. I want to welcome all of you. Last evening at Vespers at Santa Clara Mission, I had the pleasure of welcoming many of you from the Diocese of course of San Jose and from the uh, Diocese also of Las Cruces. Some of them came uh, by bus from Las Cruces 20 hours, so a special welcome to all of you. I believe that this uh, liturgy is live streamed, so I also welcome those who are watching us from different parts of the globe. I, I welcome Bishop Oscar's family here, his friends who came from far and wide. I again express my welcome to the deity, the religious and clergy of the Diocese of San Jose and other local churches. I also wish to recognize just for a moment our first bishop, Bishop Pierre, Bishop Pierre Dumain. He could not be with us this afternoon, but I know that he most certainly is with us in, in uh, spirit. And I want to thank him in my name and in the name of the whole diocese. He was our founding bishop, established the diocese in 1981, and those are the um, foundations that we have continued to build upon. He welcomed me here in this cathedral 20 years ago this month. Again, I welcome our Ancio, uh, Archbishop Christophe Pierre. He was with us last night. He is, as you know, the personal representative of our Holy Father, Pope Francis, to the United States. Archbishop, we are delighted and thank you for being with us today. I'm also delighted that Cardinal Leveda Cardinal Mahoney are with us, your eminences. We are honored by your presence. Thank you. I am pleased also to welcome our Metropolitan Archbishop, Archbishop Cordelione, from our Mother Church of San Jose. Archbishop, thank you for being with us. <clears throat> and of course, I welcome Bishop Oscar. As I said last night, I'm not just happy that I am ecstatic that he is here. <laughs> I said last night to lock the doors. He's here, and don't let him out until this is over. <laughs> Finally, and most importantly, I welcome the one person, along with her husband, of course, who made all of this uh, possible, and that's Bishop Oscar's mom. Senora Cantu, Maria, gracias por el don de su hijo a la iglesia, y en este momento por el don de Alan Ecclesia Local in San Jose. Thank you so very much. And now I introduce our nuncio who will read the papal bull from our Holy Father, Pope Francis. Your Eminences, Cardinal Mahoney and Cardinal Levada, Archbishop Cordileone, Your Excellency Bishop McGrath, Your Excellency Coadjutor Bishop Cantu, my brother Archbishops and Bishops, dear priests, deacons, consecrated religious and lay faithful of the Church in San Jose, dear friends, I am pleased to be with you today in this venerable Cathedral of St. Joseph, as we welcome His Excellency Bishop Oscar Cantu as Coadjutor Bishop of the Diocese of San Jose in California. Bishop Cantu, I know that you grew up in Houston, Texas, but taking a close look at your priestly Episcopal ministry, it seems that though the Lord has been calling out to you in the famous phrase, go west, young man. 
from Houston to San Antonio to Las Cruces and now to San Jose. I don't know where we go. <laughs> Indeed, wherever and however you have served the people of God, you have been always guided by your firm belief that in all you do for God, the zeal for the Lord's house consumes you. Is that not your motto? Yes. Yeah, I don't. It's a good motto, isn't it? You should be happy, the priest. <laughs> we publicly express our confidence that in close communion with the esteemed ordinary of San Jose, Bishop Patrick Magrath, you will fulfill your office with great diligence, doing all things in charity, which is the queen of all virtues. Through the intercession of the patron saints of this beloved family of faith, Saint Joseph and Saint Clare of Assisi, may your episcopal ministry be an abundant food for the clergy, religious and faithful of this diocese and for the community at large. And now, with great joy, I will read for you an unofficial, unofficial because we did it ourselves, yeah. tradition of the, the translation sorry, of the apostolic letter of appointment. As you know, this letter is uh, signed by the Holy Father. It will be shown to you later by the new coadjutor bishop. And it is translated from Latin to English. Francis, bishop, servant of the servants of God, to our venerable brother, Oscar Cantu, up to now bishop of Las Cruces, appointed bishop of San Jose in California, Greetings and apostolic blessing. Let us receive the words of the Lord, whose commands we treasure, turning our ear to wisdom and inclining our heart to understanding, so that amidst the ways of the world we may then understand rectitude and justice, honesty and every good path. Today, as we reflect, on the logic of this spiritual observation, it is with fatherly love and affection that we think about the pastoral needs of the flock of San Jose in California, whose ordinary, our venerable brother Patrick Joseph Magrath, earnestly requested that he might have the benefit of a coadjutor to assist in the guidance of diocesan life. Consequently, we have turned our thoughts to you, my venerable brother. The many accomplishments you have achieved in the fulfillment of your pastoral office in the Diocese of Las Cruces and the outstanding reputation you have acquired. A result of this, the spiritual as well human qualities with which you are endowed, all of these things in our judgment render you suitable for carrying out these new Episcopal responsibilities. Therefore, upon consultation with the Congregation for Bishops, by the fullness of our apostolic authority, we release you from the bond and office of the aforementioned Church. I know that some people have sat here today. <laughs> and we appoint you Coadjutor Bishop of San Jose in California granting to you the due rights and imposing upon you the relative obligations which are connected with this mission. It is our desire that you inform the clergy and the people of this ecclesial community about this our decree, and we exhort them all to look upon you as a father and a guardian to be greatly respected. Venerable brother, May the Father of Mercies assist you, so that, regarding you as their teacher in the school of divine service and charity, your flock may prefer nothing to the love of Christ, who hazardly hastening, hastening along the road of his commands amidst the struggles of this world. Given at all, 
at St. Peter's on the 11th day of the month of July in the year of the Lord 2018, the sixth of our pontificate. And this is Sir Francis. so that, together with the flock entrusted to his care, he may come to everlasting life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Chúng 
thì ta cũng kiểm điểm đoàn riêng ta như vậy. Ta sẽ giải thoát chúng khỏi mọi nơi mà chúng đã bị tan phát. Ta sẽ dẫn chúng ra khỏi các dân tộc, sẽ tự họp chúng từ khắp mặt đất và đưa chúng vào đất của chúng. Ta sẽ chăm sóc chúng trên các miền núi Israel, đọc theo, dọc theo các bờ suối và trong những miền có dân cư. Cha sẽ thả chúng ăn trên những ngọn núi cao Israel, chúng nghỉ ngơi trong những đồng cỏ xanh tươi và chúng ăn trong đồng cỏ màu mỏ, màu mỡ trên miền núi Israel. Chính ta sẽ chăm sóc các chiên, chiên ta, chính ta sẽ cho chúng nằm nghỉ. Chúa và Thiên Chúa phái như thế. Ta sẽ tìm con chiên đã mất, sẽ đem về con chiên lạc, sẽ băng bó con chiên bị thương tích, sẽ lo chữa con chiên bị ốm đau. Con nào mặc béo, ta sẽ chăm sóc và sẽ chăm sóc nó trong sự công chính. The word of the Lord.
Lectura de la primera carta del apóstol San Juan. Queridos hijos, si Dios nos ha amado tanto, también nosotros debemos amarnos los unos a los otros. A Dios nadie lo ha visto nunca, pero si nos amamos los unos a los otros, Dios permanece en nosotros y su amor en nosotros es perfecto. En esto conocemos que permanecemos en Él y Él en nosotros, en que no has dado su Espíritu. Nosotros hemos visto y de Él damos testimonio que el Padre envió a su Hijo como Salvador del mundo. Quien confiese que Jesús es Hijo de Dios, permanece en Dios y Dios en Él. Nosotros hemos conocido el amor que Dios nos tiene y hemos creído en ese amor. Dios es amor y quien permanece en el amor permanece en Dios y Dios en Él. En esto llega a la perfección el amor que Dios nos tiene, en que esperamos con tranquilidad el día en juicio. Porque nosotros vivimos en este mundo en la misma forma que Jesucristo vivió. En el amor no hay temor. Al contrario, el amor perfecto excluye el temor. Porque el que teme mira al castigo. Y el que teme no ha alcanzado la perfección del amor. Palabra de Dios.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you. At that time, Jesus came to Jericho and intended to pass through the town. Now a man there named Zacchaeus, who was a chief tax collector and also a wealthy man, was seeking to see who Jesus was. But he could not see him because of the crowd, for he was short in stature. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore tree in order to see Jesus, who was about to pass that way. When he reached the place, Jesus looked up and said, Zacchaeus, come down quickly, for today I must stay at your house. And he came down quickly and received him with joy. When they all saw this, they began to grumble, saying, He has gone to stay at the house of a sinner. But Zacchaeus stood there and said to the Lord, Behold, half of my possessions, Lord, I will give to the poor. And if I have extorted anything from anyone, I shall repay it four times over. And Jesus said to him, Today, salvation has come to this house, because this man too is a descendant of Abraham. For the Son of Man has come to seek and to save what was lost. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I'm grateful to God to be here. I'm grateful as well to Bishop P.J. McGraw for the gracious welcome that he has offered me in San Jose. I look forward to working with you in the coming months and to learn from you the great work that has been undertaken in this corner of the Lord's Vineyard. I'm grateful as well to the Papal Nuncio, Archbishop Christophe Pierre. Merci bien pour votre présence avec nous. Please convey to the Holy Father, Pope Francis, our deep love for him and our daily prayers for him. Thank you as well to Cardinal Roger McMahoney and to Cardinal William Laveda for your presence and for your prayers. Thank you as well to Archbishop Salvatore Cordiglione and to Archbishop Jose Gomez for your kind and warm welcome to California. I look forward to working with you and with my brother bishops. Thank you to all my brother bishops for your presence and your prayers. The Lord God is at the center of this celebration. 
He reminds us through the prophet Ezekiel, I myself will tend my sheep. He reminds people like myself with big hats and sometimes larger egos that he, the Lord, is the good shepherd. Thank goodness. Thank goodness the Lord is in charge. It is helpful, particularly in these times, when the sins and crimes of people who represent the church have shocked and disturbed us. It is helpful to remember that the church is both human and divine. It is made up of imperfect human beings, sinners, like you and me. And yet it is the Holy Spirit that guides and strengthens us, and Jesus Christ himself, who remains the head and shepherd of his church, and is present to us even in these troubling times. He is present to us sometimes in silence, allowing us to make horrific mistakes. He's present especially to victims of abuse, to all those who have suffered, extending his compassion, grace, and love. We too pledge never to forget the survivors of abuse and to do what is in our power to help them find healing in their lives. May we learn from St. Joseph, who took care of Mary and the child Jesus and protected them. May we learn from him to protect the little ones in our midst. May the Good Shepherd help us, as the prophet Ezekiel announced in today's reading, to seek out the lost, to bring back with love, truth, and compassion those who have strayed, to bind up with a listening ear, a compassionate heart, and God's grace those who have been injured, especially victims of abuse, and to offer the healing balm of God's love and mercy to those who have been sickened by the toxicity of the world and by the sins and crimes of some who represent the church. We're encouraged by St. John's words in the second reading today. There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear. I wish to acknowledge those who have come from the Diocese of Las Cruces, many of them, as Bishop McGraw mentioned, rode for 20 hours in a bus. Thank you for your prayers for me, for your love and faithfulness. Your prayers have sustained me, especially in difficult moments. I will continue to pray for the Diocese of Las Cruces, in this time of transition, as you await the naming of a new bishop, hopefully soon. <laughs> I can say that in French. <laughs> May the Lord always be present to you and we recall the words of the prophet Ezekiel, I myself will pasture my sheep. May the Lord always be present to you, nourish you with his love, and guide you with his wisdom. I now turn to my new flock, the Diocese of San Jose. Thank you for welcoming me today. Thank you for your prayers. I look forward to getting to know you and working with you, with you to build up God's kingdom in this beautiful and challenging part of the world. 
I will work and learn from Bishop McGraw over the next several months to understand the history of this diocese. I look forward to getting to know our priests, our deacons, consecrated and lay leaders, so that we might work together to walk together as God's people, as missionary disciples. I'm very aware of the tremendously diverse nature of the Diocese of San Jose. While I certainly cannot be all things to all people, know that I will do my best to be present to you and to help you to grow in your faith and in God's grace. I will certainly hold you daily in my prayers. There is a very large and diverse Asian community in San Jose. I look forward to worshiping with you and getting to know you. You have brought with you from your home countries, your faith, your traditions, your devotions. The church in the United States is enriched by your presence, your prayers, and your faith. Everywhere that I have traveled around the world, I have encountered Filipinos. <laughs> Thank you for your faithful witness, your hard work, your love for Jesus Christ and for the church. The Vietnamese have enriched the church with vocations with united and prayerful families. Chào mừng các bạn. Tôi cảm ơn quý ông bà, anh chị em, và xin chúa lòng chú lan cho quý ông bà, anh chị em. A la comunidad hispana, expreso mi cercanía con ustedes La Iglesia en Estados Unidos ha celebrado hace unos días el quinto encuentro nacional. Reconociendo los dones y retos de la comunidad hispana en Estados Unidos. Se ha logrado mucho a través de las últimas décadas, pero todavía falta mucho por hacer para el reino de Dios. Mientras que prometo estar cerca de ustedes como su pastor, les pido generosidad en cuanto a sus hijos e hijas. Que les inculquen apertura a la voz y la voluntad de Dios. Muchos ya sirven en la misión de la iglesia como laicos alegres y comprometidos. Dios les llama a tantos jóvenes adultos a la bella y difícil vocación del matrimonio y vida familiar. Algunos les llama a entregarse en fe y amor al servicio de la iglesia en la vida consagrada. A otros los llama el Señor a dar sus vidas en sacrificio, alegría y amor en el sacerdor hay que sembrar semillas para así poder cosechar fruta la iglesia los necesita así como la vida la vida de saqueo en el evangelio de hoy fue transformada en ese encuentro con cristo que nuestros hijos también experimenten un encuentro con Jesucristo que les llene de alegría, esperanza y amor. Trabajemos juntos a construir el reino de Dios aquí en San José. Finally, I want to thank my own family, some of whom are present here today. While I learned much over the nine years that I lived, prayed, and studied in the seminary, it was the 18 years with my family that I learned the most important lessons in life. 
faith, prayer, hard work, trust, humility, and forgiveness. Thank you to my family for the journey we have taken together. Well, I mentioned at the beginning the cardinals, Pope Francis, the bishops and priests. I want to acknowledge someone which, with much more authority than they, my mother. <laughs> Gracias, mami, por tu fe. Por tu perseverancia y por tu amor. I noticed you didn't clap when I spoke Vietnamese. Aún en tu edad dorada, mami, nos sigues dando un ejemplo de alegría, de fe, esperanza y amor. In a time when the Church Universal is under a dark cloud of scandal, we seek the intercession of St. Joseph, patron of the Universal Church. May we learn from him to protect the little ones from the womb to the tomb. May he guide us and provide a light in this dark time and walk with us through a long period of purification. Saint Joseph, pray for us. San Jose, ruega por nosotros. stand. In faith and in hope, we now place our petitions, our needs before the Lord. Por nuestro Santo Padre, el Papa Francisco, y todos en el Colegio de Obispos, para que su servicio generoso al pueblo de Dios pueda dar fruto en la abundante fe, la esperanza y el amor entre todos los bautizados. We pray to the Lord. We pray to the Lord. We pray to the Lord.
，求主使各方人为和平与正义不断的努力，并且尽力照顾穷困和弱势群体、移民、难民、失业者和疾苦人们的需要。We pray to the Lord. We pray to the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Gracious Lord, these are our petitions, our needs. We place them before you, confident that you will grant them if they be for our good, and we ask them through Christ our Lord.
My friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Good day, Lord, accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all of us May the saving sacrifice of your Son, the King of Peace, offered under sacramental signs that signify peace and unity, Strengthen, we pray, O Lord, concord among all your children, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim.
of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and welcomed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Así pues, Padre, a celebrar ahora el memorial de la muerte y resurrección de tu Hijo, te ofrecemos el pan de vida y el cáliz de salvación, y te damos gracias porque nos haces dignos de servirte en tu presencia. Te pedimos humildemente que el Espíritu Santo congrue en la unidad de cuantos participamos del cuerpo y la sangre de Cristo. Acuérdate, Señor, de tu iglesia extendida por toda la tierra y con el Papa Francisco, con nuestro obispo Patrick, conmigo y digno siervo tuyo, y todos los pastores que cuidan de tu pueblo, llévala a su perfección por así. Welcome then, them into the light of your faith, Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor are yours forever and ever. by Christ, we now have the courage to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of God's peace. So, God bless you. God bless you. Thank you so much. God bless you. 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 Peace, Roger. God bless you. Peace, be with you. God bless you. Thank you. takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Yeah, 